There was some front office decision-making in Boston this offseason. So the Celtics go into the season as the reigning Eastern Conference champs, except they will not be with their coach, Ime Adoka, who is suspended for the season. Joe Mazzulla has taken over and got off to a great start as Boston beat Philly handily with Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown combining for 70 points in the win. Stephen A., obviously Udoka did a tremendous job this past season. But tell me this, do you think the Celtics can still win the East? I'm not of the mindset that they will. Of course they can because they've got Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown. I love the acquisition of Malcolm Brogdon to that squad. Missoula didn't look like he missed a beat. Let me but pause. I, let's let's make the question, will they win the East? No, not can, I'm not will. picking them to win the East. I'm picking the Brooklyn Nets. I'm picking the Brooklyn Nets to win the East. That's where I'm going with this, okay? But I will say that's I know, I know I'm going to have to deal with Wilbon all day and all night because I'm taking yeah. that position. But damn it, that's where I'm going with it, okay? But let me get back to Boston. Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown came ready to play last night. I think we all agree the Philadelphia 76ers did not. I didn't like the body language on Joel Embiid. I was watching Charles Barkley last night when he brought up that point. I completely agree with him. The body language, I mean, you, you missed out on the MVP. I voted for you to win MVP, but you didn't get the, the award. We got that. I expected Joel Embiid to come out like a monster. That was not the case, okay? James Harden had his 35 points. He got some threes. He did all of this stuff, but still in all, no movement. Guys standing around, you know, not spreading the floor. I just saw things I just didn't like. And I said, this style, they ain't going to beat the Boston Celtics. So I don't know how much of a litmus test that was, per se, even though Philly supposedly got better in the offseason with you know, Tucker and DeAnthony Melton, because I like both of those guys. But I look at Boston, and I just believe in Ime Udoka. And I think that him going to Boston and doing it one year, what Brad Stevens, who I love and respect, couldn't do in seven years or so as the head coach and taking them to the finals. I, I just think that this dude has the pulse of the team in a way that nobody else has had since Doc Rivers won the championship with them in, in 08, oh, not, in 08, rather. So to me, if Missoula proves me wrong, God bless him, because I'm certainly not rooting against him. But I just look at the Celtics right now, the squad that they have. It's not that they missed the opportunity. I think they'll be back. They'll be in the thick of things. They'll be relevant. I just think this year, when I see Milwaukee, I see Brooklyn, I just think one of those teams is coming out of the East before Boston, and I'm rolling with Brooklyn. Yeah, I mean, I, I think the Celtics will win the East, and I think they should be considered the favorites to win the East. Uh, I look at really three factors there. So number one is, is Tatum and Brown, and the lessons they learned during their finals run last year. And you want to see growth from those guys in terms of decision-making. It's something I harped on throughout the playoffs. They're, they're passing their turnovers. They look really sharp last night, and I know it's one game. Uh, the second thing is there is roster continuity on this team. This is a group that went through the fire, and so you would expect to, to, for them to be a little bit battle-hardened this year and throughout the playoffs. And, and then the third reason that I, I like the Celtics is Malcolm Brogdon, and, and we saw this last night, his defense, his offensive production, having the luxury of taking a guy uh, who, who – you know, was in all-star consideration at different points in his career, whether that was in Milwaukee or Indiana, and being able to bring him off the bench and play him two ways uh, is just a phenomenal luxury. And, and Stephen A., I, I, we got we to talk about this Nets pick. I, 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 we got to talk about this. <laughs> Thank you, J.J. I mean, I'm going to answer the question, you. Molly. We, I yeah, answered the question, me. but we got to talk about this okay. Nets pick. What have you seen? At any no, point in I, the last three I, years I say that leads you to believe I say I the Brooklyn ahead. Nets can make the finals. I, I didn't say I didn't, that. I mean, look, go ahead, well, go look ahead, they, they, still have, they, they still have small guards. They lost, they lost Bruce Brown. Obviously, Ben Simmons is a guard, and, but he's going to have to play a lot of bigger players in the playoffs, okay? And you're going to be going up against Giannis. You're going to be going up against Joel Embiid. You're going to be going up against Tatum and Jalen Brown. I, like, I just don't see, other than, than wishful thinking, because your Knicks are so bad and you want to root for a New York team. <laughs> that's low. That's I low. don't do understand. That. That's not love right there. See what How I'm saying? saying? That's you not love right there. That, 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 you know, see, see, just when I thought that you were my boy, this is what you do. You show yourself to be the turncoat that you are. How are you going to do that to me, man? I mean, of course it has something to do with the Knicks being sorry. Of course it does, damn it. Of course I'm rooting for a New Stephen York team to be relevant. Stephen but I will a. say this. Ben Simmons, okay, Kyrie, KD. How long Seth are you going to be seduced by Tom Harris? Malone? 
I'm not gonna pay attention. They're not accountable, that. Stephen A. They're not. They're not accountable at all, to, even to each other. How many times are you going to need to see this? We've seen it three years in a row, and you keep. I mean, the the, the notion that Kyrie is playing for something greater this season. You know, there's going to be some stretch coming up in the next few weeks with Kyrie not playing at all because he decided to go to a birthday party or he decided to do whatever. The, where's the accountability? The what championship caliber team have you ever seen in any sport that doesn't start with that kind of high level accountability? Tell me. Give me one. I, I, I can't. Hey, what's up, guys? Jag from Jaggy Sports here. 76ers took on the Boston Celtics yesterday and. They did not get off the start that I wanted them to. Uh, like, they did play well, right? But there's a lot of standing around. There's not that much uh, cohesiveness. I know it's only the first day of the NBA season. But, you know, you, you had uh, training camp. Joel Embiid put up good points. He did not uh, look like the monster that he is accustomed to be. But, uh, you know, first day, right? James Harden played unbelievable, 35 points. And Tyrese Maxey, 21 points. One hell of a roster, but I do expect good things from them. Boston Celtics, what can you say, right? Boston Celtics defense was unbelievable. Jalen Brown and Jason Tatum, I think, got over 70 points total. That's pretty phenomenal. And even without Odoka... You know, um, the expectation for the Boston Celtics is unreal, right? So, um, you know, you got to think, will they win the East? Because Stephen A is talking about the Nets winning the East. I know from the play yesterday with Boston Celtics, that begs to differ from that statement that Stephen A said. But I do want to talk about the play where Marcus Smart almost had his arm broken. And you got to agree, right, with him. It wasn't the arm broken, but I think, um, you know, it, was, it wasn't it was a, I, I don't know, I, I wouldn't call it a, a dirty play, but it was a very, very, a, like a technical flagrant, flagrant two that was uncalled for. And, um, you know. I like how uh, Marcus Smart said, oh, I would have cracked his head open, but I never did. Um, at the end of the day, he's got a point, right? If Marcus Smart would have done that, he would have got suspended a couple games. Joel Embiid did that, and nothing happened to him. But it's just, uh, that was a dirty play. Um, not intentional, but, you know, unintentional. I don't think that uh, Joel Embiid is that type of dude to do that as an intentional um, play that he, you know, was trying to break his arm. I don't think that's going to happen. But um, kind of reminds me of the time Olenek did that to Kevin Love when Olenek was on Boston Celtics and really really hurt Kevin Love's uh, shoulder actually he popped it out I believe it was he ran to the back it kind of reminds me of that so you know I don't believe it was intentional but back to go going back to the original statement Boston Celtics are they expected to win the East only time will tell. I think a lot of people are expecting the Golden State Warriors to win the West. I think the, a lot of teams are knocking on that door for sure, including the Clippers, the Grizzlies, and the Nuggets, maybe even Dallas, uh, New Orleans for sure. But uh, yeah, we'll, we'll wait and see. But leave a comment in the comment section. I, 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 I got to know. I got to know what you guys' thoughts are. After seeing last night... Are the Boston Celtics ready to take down like anyone and go back to the finals, right? Like, obviously they have a bitter taste in their mouth of what happened in July, I believe it was, or June. I can't remember the exact. Oh, it was June. Sorry. Um, but uh, yeah, are the Boston Celtics even with Odoka? Because you, now you got Malcolm Brogdon, excellent pickup for the Boston Celtics, and he proved it last night. Are the Boston Celtics gonna win the East? Only time will tell. 
Leave a comment in the comment section. Tell me what you guys think. Will the Boston Celtics win the East? This is Jag from Jaggy Sports.